Hey, hey, Cindy Lou here, and that's up too high. See, testing, testing. I am testing. Yes, I am. Bring this down just a little bit. Give that a try. Hey there, how are you? So, attempting to see, can this be seen? Is this easy enough for people to see? Am I able to do this? Realizing it may even be all backwards. Is it backwards to you? I think it might be. Can I flip it? There we go. Are the words now correctly straight? Yeah, they are. And then you can see them. You can see me. I think this might actually work. So hey, Cindy Lou here of Promise Sounds. And I help people to hear the sounds of heaven and to be encouraged in the Lord and to learn how to encourage yourself even and to help you to learn how to live in the kingdom and live strong. So the kingdom of heaven is on earth already. We're living in it and we're a part of the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is not only ethereal and out there, but it's also right here where we all are. So I was going to share with you the P's and D's of kingdom living, but you're going to have to wait one second. Alrighty, Cindy Lou back again. So anyway, this started because I had a head injury um, uh, back in January. And one of the things that I had to deal with was the fact that I couldn't do much. So we um, had a helper, had somebody coming around and helping me and learning how to rethink again and how to plan and prioritize and uh, pace and problem solve. Those are the P's of activity management. <clears throat> and then the D's are do it, dump it, delay it, or delegate it. So I thought... We have these, which are for activity of the human being, and I thought there should be P's and D's of kingdom living. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. Kingdom living. I'm not sure you can see that, but hopefully you can. Oh, it looks a little light. Let me go get a darker pen. Now, I did put testing there, so you do know I'm, I am testing today. But hey, who knows, I may use this um, in something. All right, so the P's of Kingdom Living. Uh, can't get this cover off. There we go. P's and D's. Kingdom living. Oh, that's much better. So we have peace, prayer, and that is Philippians 4, 6, which says, Be anxious for nothing, and everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And then we have P, or praises. which is Psalm 147.1. And that is, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. 
and then we have Proclaim. And Acts 17.28. So Acts 17.28. For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. So we get to proclaim that we are his kids. That is part of the P's of Kingdom Living. And then we have Prophecy. And for that one I had Acts 2.17. Prophecy or prophesy. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And the last P is promises. Hebrews 6, 11 through 15. And we desire that each of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end that you do not become sluggish but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises for when God made a promise to Abraham because he could swear by no one greater he swore by himself so help me God to help me myself <laughs> saying surely ah uh, blessing I will bless you and multiplying, I will multiply you. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. And uh, promise sounds is what you're listening to today. I want to thank you. Those are the P's. I will come back at some point and um, share with you the D's of Kingdom Living. Alrighty. Have a great day. Thanks. All I have to do is figure out how to get out of it. Ah, oh, there we go. Alrighty. Blessings.